Um, this starts with a, a deck of cards. This is a, a, a trick which basically utilises clarity of vision. I'm going to use three members of the audience. You do not need to get up. I'm not going to embarrass any of you. It's not that type of show. But what I'm going to ask three members of the audience to help me out with clarity of vision. Um, I'm going to remove the deck of cards from the box. For the people who are close enough, and eyesight is good enough, I'm also going to fan the deck. So as you can see, that the deck is all there. Okay? I don't want anybody to be confused later on. I'm now going to place an elastic band down the bottom of the pack of cards like so. I'm going to choose, select three people from the audience. When I give you the deck of cards, I want you to close your eyes, open the stack, look at one card, close the stack, remember that card. That is clarity of vision. I want that one image of that one card burnt into the back of your brain. The first person I'm going to ask is this young lady in the middle of the Little boy's holding his hand up, and I want to get off first. I want to get off first. What's your name, sweetheart? Tracy. Tracy? Exactly as I said, Tracy. I'm going down. Can you all hear me? I'm verbalizing now. This is an objection. Thank you very much for the house lights. Tracy. Please close your eyes. Open the stack. Look at one card. Close the stack. Look at me. Very good. You've done this before. Tracy, stand up, please. Right, I'm going to come right, uh, right over here. I think I'm going to go with you. What's your name? Dan. Dan, Dan take the deck. We look at the car. Close your eyes. Open it in one place. Look at it. Look at me, Dan. Well up. Marvellous. Dan, stand up for me. I'm going to come. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. I want some water. I'm going to ask this guy in the front row here. I'm trying to hold my gaze. What's your name, son? James. James. You did exactly the same. Let me see. Look at the card. One card. One card. Look at one. Look at me. Interesting. Can you stand up? <laughs> the three people I have selected from the auditorium, if you can concentrate on those cards, think of them, the images burns on the back of your head. Imagine that those cards are blown through the air. The whole deck has been dropped. They've been blown through the air. Concentrate on your card. Visualize that card as it lands upon the floor. Close your eyes and look down. Concentrate on the card. Three of spades, queen of hearts, ace of diamonds. If you heard your card, sit down. That's how they used to do it in the 40s. Nowadays, Darren has taken all of those styles and he's um, used this, this, added this thing called NLP. Anybody heard of Neuro Linguistic Program? This basically means magicians now use the tempo, the temper of the voice, the body language to influence the choice of others. In a similar way to the way a salesman would do if you've ever bought a slightly more expensive car, a slightly more expensive watch. They would use these techniques to get you to the support. And ask this lady right in the centre in the pink to strike um, Lou Cut's top, my lovely. What's your name? Sharon. Sharon. Um, Sharon, do you think you're easily influenced? No, great, this is perfect. Sharon, I need you to um, help me out with this. First of all, to see whether you are susceptible to this style of technique. I have a quick experiment. Um, remember, there's no right or wrong with this, so uh, no pressure. But it's just an experiment into language, Sharon. So um, I've written something on the back of the card. I want you to be brutally honest. Have you any idea what I've written? Perfect. <laughs> See, that's how it works. You ask the question in the correct manner, you garner the answer you require. Very, very simple. Shall I now know this is the real trick. Now I know you're easily led. But <laughs> I have my top pocket a deck of cards. One card is reverse. I'm going to make sure I think of that card using these techniques. I'm going to throw the invisible deck to you because I need you to pretend to shuffle that this place is in the subconscious mind of the field of cards. Catch them? <laughs> Obviously a poor girl in a woman. Now, <laughs> Sharon, take the cards from the box, put the box down, shuffle those cards. Very well done. Sharon, you don't have to do the rest with your hands, but if you enjoy gesticulation, that's completely up to you. Now, I want you to keep eye contact with me and imagine the 52 cards are fanned in front of you. Think of one card as long as you do not select the Ace of Spades or the King of Hearts. 
Anyone in the room knows about psychology? Those two cards are the most memorable. I removed them so you don't think this is coincidence. Sharon, do you have one in your mind? Is it the first one you thought of? No? You thought of one that I mentioned first. Very good. Sharon, please find the card in the invisible pack, hold it up high, and show the entire audience. Audience, can you please take a quick look at Sharon's card? That's my favourite bit, because you can't help but the old audience look. <laughs> nearly half of you were nodding as well, yeah? <laughs> Sharon, turn that card upside down, put it back in the pack, do up the cards, throw the cards back at me, and let's give Sharon a huge round of applause. <laughs> Those cards are replaced with the deck I pre-prepared, Sharon, so as you are not the only one who's impressed if this does work. I'm going to roll my sleeves up in a subtle camp 1980s Don Johnson style. I'm hoping you might catch up. It's easy for that. Sharon, so you're not the only one who's impressed if this does work. Please now, out loud, as loud as you can, name the card you thought of and reversed in the pack. The three of diamonds. <laughs> now take the cards from the box. I'm going to fan them out facing you guys. I'm looking for one card and one card only, facing me in the middle of the pack, committing me to the card, making the trick totally impossible, Sharon, but it can only be three 